Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Paula's Choice C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. This product retails for $45. So it's been a long time since I've even used any of Paula Choice's skincare. I'm not gonna lie, the price point of a lot of their products does kind of make me hesitant to try a lot of their products, but I know that a lot of people love their BHA solution. This product is looking promising because it is a vitamin C moisturizer and I always love brightening products. So I'm very excited to see how this performs. This product is cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, gluten free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlighted ingredients in this product include vitamin C, exapeptide 5, and polyglutamic acid. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. There are a few things that I always look for with moisturizers and I am most critical on moisturizers because I struggle to find some that are balanced enough to use both during the day and also at night, but also don't cause acne. There's a lot of things I'm looking for. The big thing that I am looking for is does this cause me to break out? I've read reviews that this product is a fairly moisturizing product and I really want to see if this product is moisturizing. A lot of times products that are very moisturizing have broken me out in the past and I really struggle to find a moisturizer that does not cause acne so that will be one of the big things I'm looking for. Another thing is can I use it both during the day and also at night? Like I said earlier it's kind of hard to find a moisturizer that is very balanced and so the final thing that I'm I'm looking for with this product is to see if I notice results with it. I'm really not going to pay $45 for a moisturizer with vitamin C that doesn't show results like it has it in it. Especially because this product is a little bit of a more expensive price and you don't get a ton of this product. I really just want to see how it leaves my skin feeling and if I notice any brightening and other benefits that vitamin C are supposed to deliver during this trial. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-in, so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to use the product for the first time on camera and also give you all a quick check-in. I've been using this product for a few days now, it's been about three days. I am starting to see just a couple of zits come up right here and then just one or two right over here. A lot of this is hyperpigmentation. I'm not sure that this product is causing that, but that is just something I'm noticing. Other than that, my skin is looking pretty good, but it was looking great before I started using this moisturizer. So. I will just have to keep using it and see if it's this product causing breakouts. This is a very rich moisturizer. I don't have to use very much of it. I do notice that only one pump is perfect. I saw some people complain about pilling on the website, but I haven't experienced any pilling with this moisturizer. It's been a fairly nice experience, but it is just a little bit heavy for me to use during the day. It does make my skin feel just a little bit greasy. And so that is just something I noticed. It's perfect perfect for the night. It's definitely a very hydrating moisturizer. As you can see there, it is in texture a little bit more runny and lightweight, but it is a very hydrating moisturizer. As you can see, it immediately adds a very nice glow to the skin. It doesn't feel overly suffocating at first, but the more it wears throughout the day, the more greasy it begins to make my skin feel. I do see where they could say that it has a gel consistency to it because the feel is like a gel, but it is a very hydrating gel cream. I do feel like that this is more designed for people with combination to dry skin. If you are oily, this could be a little bit heavy for you. I'm gonna continue using this product and just continue to keep you posted. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So sadly, after I continued using it, I did experience repetitive breakouts with this product. And on top of that, I really just didn't enjoy the feel of this moisturizer. I felt like it was a very suffocating and very heavy moisturizer. Not to say that this won't be perfect for dry skin. I don't know that, but this continued to feel greasy throughout the day and it just got worse the more that I wore it. It was a more gel cream consistency, but it did get worse 
worse and greasier throughout the day whenever I'd use it. On top of that, I was experiencing breakouts in places that I normally wouldn't get them, which is right here around my jawline and then around my eyebrows. I was experiencing a lot of breakouts that just continued to come up with this product. And so something in this product did set off my acne. On top of that, the price point of this product is just really high for the amount that you get. I do know an alternative moisturizer that is a vitamin C brightening moisturizer that I love that is half the price of this. The Versed Weekend Glow Moisturizer is my favorite vitamin C moisturizer. I did experience just a little bit of pilling with that moisturizer if I over applied it or if I didn't let my other serum sink in before that. Ultimately, the price point difference and just how it is overall compared to this product, I enjoyed that product much better because it had a more lighter weight, balanced moisturizer feel to it. There are just a lot of factors that I didn't like with this product and so for that reason I cannot recommend it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.